Hi, kids. Welcome to another episode of Air Academy. I'm so excited that you joined us this week. We are going to have so much fun. I have a great message this week that you're going to learn and, of course, a great memory verse. So get your Bibles out and let's get ready. Amen. This week, we're going to be talking about the parables are stories that reveal God's truth. So guess what, kids? The parables are stories. Jesus, all throughout the Bible, he spoke in parables. What does that mean? That means is that he gave examples, that he taught in stories, and he gave examples to what he was trying to teach us and for us to learn about what he wanted us to learn when we sowed. And this week's memory verse is going to be found in Mark 4, 9. And this is what it said. It says, <clears throat> then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. Kids, it is so important that we listen to the word of God, that we listen when we're learning, because that's the only way we're going to learn. That's the only way that we're going to make sure that the word gets down deep into our hearts. Amen. And the story's found in Mark 4. It's going to be verses 1 through 20. It's a little long, but this week, kids, you're going to be introduced to the parables. Um, and they, you will, you will also be uh, learning in that in that uh, scripture. It's the parable of a sower. And what is a sower? It's like a farmer. When they go out, farmers have to prep the ground. Then they make uh, rows, and then they sow the seed, and then they watch it grow. Kids, whatever we sow grows, whether it be good or bad. So it's really important that you realize that you have to always sow good. Sow good in your words, sow good in your thoughts, what you're thinking, what you're thinking about things, what you're thinking about people, sow good in what you say. It's very important for you to stay positive and to sow good words, words of faith. Amen. So this week, that's what we're going to be talking about. So open up your Bible so that we could learn about the parable of a sower, the story of a sower. Amen. So it's found in Mark 4 verses 1 through 20. And this is what it talks about. It says, Jesus told a story about a farmer because many of his listeners were farmers. He knew they would relate to the struggles of this farmer to plant his seed in good soil so it would produce a good crop. But Jesus was not interested in helping farmers to grow more lettuce or broccoli. He wanted them to grow their faith. And that's what we need to do, kids. When we hear the word, when we hear messages, we're growing our faith. Some seeds fell on path that was eating or swept away. The seeds represent people who hear the stories of the Bible, but really aren't listening. You guys are not those kids, right? When we're, when we're teaching you guys the Bible stories, you guys are listening. You guys are paying attention. And then uh, some seeds fell in a rocky place and among the thorns. Those people hear the message of the Bible, but they are distracted with other things. They quickly forget the message and they never grow. That's why we want you guys to always pay attention in, in children's church so that you could listen and it could fall in your heart. Some of the seeds fell in good soil and produced a huge crop. This is where God wants us to be, planted in good soil. He wants us to read the word daily. He wants us to spend time in prayer. If we take the time to nurture our faith, it will grow and God will use us to spread his word throughout the world. Amen. Kids, it is so important that you guys listen to the word, that it gets down deep in your heart and that you guys understand that it's going to grow your faith so you could do great things for God. Because you know what, kids? You are called to do great things for God. You are called for a purpose and you are called to have great faith and go out and teach people about the love of Jesus. Amen. I hope you, uh, you get ready because we're going to do a game right now. But remember kids, the memory verse is found in Mark chapter four. And what is it kids? Do you guys remember Mark chapter four verse nine? Then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. So anytime you're learning the word, anytime you're looking at these videos, you're going back and hearing them. That's why it's so important to hear. That's why it's so important to 
even if you did see it. Teacher goes back and listens to Pastor Josh all his messages again and again. Why? Because God speaks to you through his word. Amen. So get ready. We're going to play a fun game. You ready, kids? We're going to have so much fun. We're going to play a game. You need two people, but you can do it with, with one. But someone has to time you and see who has the best abilities to play in this game. So what you need, you have ping pong balls and a spoon. Get a big spoon. Get a big spoon so you can win. But you should, you should get a plastic spoon. And this is all you have to do. Get the spoon and you're going to race. You can race against the clock or race against someone. And you're going to see how fast. I can't go that fast. You could walk with this on the spoon and it doesn't fall. If it falls, you have to go back and try again until you have it. Make sure you mark, like mark on your, on your um, anywhere you play, mark with tape from what end to what end you wanna stop and you guys are gonna have fun. Have fun, have fun with, um, with your siblings, have fun with your parents, have fun with your friends. Play this game. See you guys in a bit for the memory verse. Hi kids, we are going to go over the memory verse for this week. So make sure you take out your Bibles. Like I mentioned before, write the memory verse. Make sure that you're practicing. Make sure that you shout it out. You say it every single day. Amen. So it's found in Mark 4, 9. And this is what it says. So repeat after me, kids. Mark 4, 9. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. Kids, this week it's about listening. This week is about building up your faith with the word of God. And I hope that you are excited and I hope I see you next time. Mm -hmm.